Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with another cue and haircut. This one comes from DB. She asks, I would love to see Tegan Quinn's new cut from this summer. I don't know who Tegan Quinn is, but I did do some research and I believe that I have the right haircut. So I hope I do, but this is the Tegan Quinn that I saw and it doesn't seem like she changes her haircut that often. It seems like she's had it for quite a while. But the cool thing about this cut is it, it takes into consideration the undercut, which is something that a lot of other people have asked me about. So we did an undercut scissor over comb. We go through the top. I show you how to cut that and blend that. This is a pretty simple haircut to transfer somebody from a pixie to a more modern looking undercut haircut and they can have a lot of fun with it. Now, the other thing that I love about this haircut is the versatility of it. You can really go in and uh, you can wear it messy, you can wear it straight, you can wear it curly, you can wear it however you want. And I think the thing you'll notice about Tegan Quinn is that uh, what I saw is that she does wear it quite a few different ways. Uh, one of them is with a wavy kind of look. I love uh, the volume that we got in this haircut. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice blend to the back. Sometimes people like to have a little bit more of an overhang in a haircut, but uh, for me, I like that kind of blended feel. So it's got a lot of texture. A lot of movement, a couple things that I always like to have in a haircut, and now that is our end result. So I hope you guys enjoy this haircut. <laughs> I'm like getting that thing off. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this haircut, and please leave your comments below. If you guys want to see a haircut, use the hashtag Free Salon Education on all of our social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, anything you want. You can even Snapchat us or uh, post in the comments below any haircuts that you want to see, and we'll get them done for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna get started on the side here. We're gonna work scissor over comb. Now, I wanna go over scissor over comb technique. I think that's one of the most important things about this haircut. And something that I see a lot of people doing when they're working scissor over comb is they put the hair up in the comb and then as they're going with the scissor, they're going in and out working that technique. You wanna make sure that you have a nice flow with the blade of the scissor, the steady blade staying on the comb, and then that mo the blade that has motion is working and doing all the work through it. So you lift up your section, <clears throat> I can comb it a little bit, hold it with my scissor underneath, just to get a nice clean uh, line on the haircut. And then I'm gonna go through, and I'm just gonna take out some of the bulk here. So right here, you guys can see how it's definitely getting longer into the back. Now I'll go up and clean that up once I get through this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scissor over comb everything, working that same angle all the way through, and then again on the opposite side. So we're gonna do this really fast uh, so you guys can, um, so we can get through this haircut. Now, like I said, we're gonna do the same thing just in the opposite direction. So again, just putting that comb underneath the hair and then going through, taking out the bulk. And then once I get that bulk out of there, then I'll go through and clean it up. All right guys, so now that we've finished the uh, undercut part of it, so let me give a nice little spin. Uh, that's what's so fun about doing an undercut because now we've got this big, uh, long amount of hair, um, which didn't look that long until we did the undercut. Now it's kind of popped some length back into the haircut. So now what I'm gonna do is go through, uh, saturate it with a little H2O through the, uh, through the hair, and then we're gonna go through and point cut into the top and create a really cool uh, hairstyle out of this haircut. All right, so we're gonna start off uh, the wet portion of this haircut. I'm gonna comb everything forward. And then what I'm gonna do is section uh, into four quadrants. So straight down the center, 
which has nothing to do with the haircut, by the way. We will not be cutting this uh, to wear it down the center. But just for balance purposes, I like to see um, kind of how the weight's shifting. Now I'm gonna split right at the division line, the front and the back. The reason I like to do this, and I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a second. The reason I like to do this is because it really separates what is falling in the back from what is falling obviously into the front. So I want to blend through the back portion of this haircut. So what I'm gonna do now is go through vertically and add some point cutting in just to blend this nice. It already has a slight blend to it because of the scissor over comb, but there's some heaviness right at the top edge of the, of the cut. So I like when I'm working, uh, when I'm not working scissor over comb, I like to work with more of like a five and a half inch scissor. And we're just softening the edge. So it'll blend nice. Everything's being brought directly out of the, from the head. There we go. Same thing here. And you can see that's right there is where the heaviness happens in the corner. So I'm not necessarily trying to take that corner away, but I am just going through and breaking it up. And then last, last bit. Here we go. So that makes it nice and soft in the back. Now, you could leave that kind of flop over. Some people like that. I'm a, I'm a fan of it blending, really, especially with salon reality situations, but um, some guests like to have that little bit of a, a tail coming out of the back. So uh, now that we've got the back cut, what I wanna do is just start connecting the front. I've got this parted in the center, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just take diagonal, slight diagonal back partings, uh, which we've done in the past. And I'm gonna work my finger angle uh, short to long, just because I want a nice little flop over um, and a little bit of a weight line uh, sitting right in the haircut. So if I shift my finger angle, it creates a longer point in the center, which is then gonna fall and be nice and heavy right there. It's gonna give a lot more fun and versatility to the, the haircut itself. Slight diagonal back, bring that hair back to me, point cutting through. I don't really even need to take much off because I actually like what this is already doing because we had cut the pixie cut before. So if you hadn't cut the pixie cut before, I would be over directing everything over high point of the head uh, with the finger angle shift just like this, cutting short to long and removing all of that hair to create the haircut. Last little bit, point cutting through. And just adding tons of texture into the haircut. Same thing here, but I'm gonna shift my finger angle so it's still short to long and work point cutting through. You could stand in front of the head as well uh, and push the hair away from you, but I, if I can, I like to stay right in the back of the head. Just going through, point cutting. Hit this with my dryer. And using a comb uh, like the 332 to blow dry a pixie cut or an undercut is pretty awesome because it does give a nice amount of tension to the hair. So it, does, it helps control it and build in that head shape into the haircut. So totally, I mean, I love, I love the undercut. There's so many different style options for it. Um, so you could go in like I did 
You could comb it forward and mess it up. You can wear it back and kind of mess it up. You can wear it nice and sleek with a round brush. I want to show you guys a style. This is with the uh, Carve Texture Cream from uh, Bricado. I like this stuff because it's nice and soft. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. But um, it's nice and soft. So you get, you can control a style, but it doesn't make your hair sticky and firm, uh, which is what, what I really love about it. So we're going to go through. I kind of twist my fingers into the hairstyle just to kind of like those pieces over there. All right, so this is the end result. So I'm gonna spin everything around here. But I just love, I mean, like I said, you can do anything you want with this haircut. You don't have to do this style. You can wear it down. You don't have to wear it crazy. I like a little bit of the messiness to it. I uh, hope you guys like this haircut. Make sure that if you like it, post in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of it. Also, like and share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.